rise and shine, wild ones. It's Bernadette King. I'm here with your pick a card daily tarot reading for Friday. Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Friday. Yes, September 18th, 2020. And I cannot even believe the card that came out today. So for those of you that are just joining me, I am the creator and channel of the award-winning Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. It's the deck that I use in my daily readings. It's based on the writer, the traditional rider weight system. And then we have all the deliciousness of the spirit totem and power animal energy and medicine infused with it. And Fridays are the love day. They are family night. They are date night. It's all you need is love. Da, 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 da. And it's time to see the beauty in yourself and everything around you. The chakra of Fridays, the governing chakra is the throat chakra, which is all about communication. It's all about sound vibration, sound healing. And <clears throat> Fridays, uh, the governing planet is Venus. It's time to let your hair down. It's time to let love in. It's time to let love out. It's just time to be happy and in love with anything that you could possibly be in love with, your career, your dreams, your family, your lovers, your pets, your children, the universe at large, just feel the love, which is so crazy because ah, Octopus as the King of Cups showed up today which is also super crazy because I was, you know, it's the day of love. I'm like, oh, I want to wear the pink. I want to be romantic. And then drew this card. Are you kidding me right now? You can't make this stuff up. So let's go right into it. And, um, you know, when you're looking at the King of Cups, the traditional rider weight meaning, this is about calm. This is about clarity. This is about understanding your emotions, diving, being able to dive deep in them, working with them, diving deep into other people's emotions, you know, making sure that everything is fluid and smooth, really just like love should be, no matter how hot and exciting. And so, you know, the King of Cups is also about being able to see the silver lining in things, um, being able to see that you know, something you love or someone that loves you or a situation you love or don't love. It might be rocky at the moment, but as long as you consistently, consistently send out the kindness, the compassion, the love, it'll turn that situation around in the blink of an eye. It will diffuse a horrible situation. Remember, it's authentic. You can't fake love. Uh, you can try. Good luck with that. But um, as long as that uh, kindness and compassion and love is coming from you authentically, like it does from the King of Cups, you'll be all good. The other thing that you're going to want to know for today, for today's daily reading is, you know, uh, <laughs> my mind's always drawn. Whenever I see the King of Cups, I think about Dear Abby and all the columns that have always been, you know, advice to the lovelorn. But there's a lot of wisdom in that because, you know, how many of us can just kind of work through, work with, create and maintain and sustain all the loves that we want. It, it can be a little more difficult for, you know, during some times than others or for some people than others, but the King of Cups is a great advice giver. So you may be that advice giver today, or you may need that advice from someone that's very octopus-like or King of Cups-like today. Don't be afraid to give it. Don't hold it back. Don't be afraid to get it. Don't be afraid to approach somebody to give you advice. Um, cause today is the day you're going to get really excellent advice or give really excellent advice and all that calm and that sense of peace and the clarity it's in the hope it's going to come back to you. Now, um, also when we're working with the King of Cups, remember that Kings oftentimes, you know, they're the ruler of nations, right? That's a very, very, very I don't even know the word for it. I wouldn't want to be one. That's not in my wheelhouse, right? But for the people who do end up in those places via their sacred contracts, they've got a lot that they have to give to their people. They've, they're in a position of service, hopefully, and hopefully the care of their people, the care of the environment, the care of the animals, the care of every living thing is their greatest care. And to do that effectively, sometimes love can come with a little bit of tough love. That is a form of love. It doesn't have to be so tough that, you know, it scars and it traumatizes. But sometimes you have to use your discernment and realize that you can have the hard conversations during a mediation 
maybe there's some kind of diplomatic conversation you need to have. You might be acting as a diplomat, a guide, a bridge builder. Sometimes those situations are better served when you're just kind of out with it, when you're really straight to the point and use the verbiage or make the observations that might, you know, have a really profound about them and leave people going, uh, uh, uh. But when you deliver the information through the throat chakra that is filled with the vibration of love, then people won't want to pick up the nearest paperweight and clonk you in the head with it, right? So just don't be afraid. You know what you're thinking? All you need is love. <laughs> don't be afraid to speak truths that might be a little tougher for other people to hear. They might be a little tougher for you to say, okay, you got to do it anyway, because today is your day. And remember, you're going to do it in love. It'll all be okay. It should be okay. Never make any promises, but Okay, so moving on, when we start to integrate octopus as a spirit totem and power animal in with the king of cups, wow. You know, <clears throat> first of all, octopi have eight arms. That's the number of infinity. That's the number of infinite love. That's the number of everything just stays in this infinite loop. It's eternal. It's ancient. It's, it always has been. It always will be. And that's something you can go into today with when you're celebrating and, you know, cause it's Friday and you're thinking about the date or the family time or the things that you want to wrap up and get ready for the first of the week. Remember, chill out. You're not going to finish everything today. You can't possibly, nothing is ever finished. Nothing is ever completed. My, fa my favorite thing, <clears throat> pardon me, is when people sign contracts and they're like, well, that's done. Or they make agreements and they're like, that's done. And I just look at them and I go, what makes you think that's done? And they'll tell me because the contract is signed. We made the agreement. It's over. No, it's not. Whatever you agree, <laughs> whatever you agreed on, whatever that contract is, that created a thing which is everlasting. It's ongoing. It's ever changing. It's evolutionary. Just like the octopus, just like the number eight. So strap in for the ride, whatever you do today, you can be at peace with that. You accomplished what you wanted to accomplish. You wrapped up all your little loose ends at work and now you're sailing, swimming into, or should I be like this, like a, you know, like an octopus, you're swimming into a different time. You're swimming into your weekend, right? But today is the day to love where you are and love where you're going to be next week and just roll with the tide, baby, roll with the tide. So when we are working with, <clears throat> pardon me one second, I'm, it's crazy. I'm talking about the throat chakra and I'm all gunked up because of the stuff flying around in Florida today. Oy vey. <clears throat> Thank you for your patience. Um, I always like to uh, give you guys the spirit, totem and power animal meaning of whatever animal is gracing us today with their presence. So if you don't know the difference between spirit, totem and power animals, there's a link to the video below in the comments section, and that will tell you the difference between them. So I won't go into it in this video, but briefly, when octopus shows up as your spirit animal, whether you've consciously asked the spirit animal world for help, or you have, you know, subconsciously cried out to the world of spirit, totem and power animals for help, when it just kind of magically appears, that that's it. it. It's your time to increase your magical energy right now. Now, what does magic have to do with love, which has to do with octopus, which has to do with everything we're talking about today? And really, how do you know when an octopus is in love? It's, you know, it's not like they bring, you know, coral to their lovers or, you know, go out on a date. They might. We don't know. Haven't observed that yet. I haven't anyway. But <clears throat> octopus, again, with those eight limbs, it's about infinity. And once you grasp the concept, concept, once you can truly feel that infinite part of yourself, love's not so hard to give. It's not so hard to receive because it's forever. And you can trust in that. When, and, and what is more magical in that? When you trust and you know that you know that you know that all of those emotions that you're feeling, all of that watery depth to everything that's going on in your heart, everything that you're communicating, 
It's divine. It's steeped in eternal divine love. Can you think of anything more magical than that? No. Well, you might. You're wrong. No, I'm teasing. But it's magical. You get where I'm going with this, right? Okay. So if, if octopus keeps showing up in your awareness, there's something there for you to look at about the subject of things not ever really being over of things never coming to a conclusion because everything, including your, your soul is infinite. Love is infinite. Take a look at, take a look around that. Now, if you identify with octopus as your totem animal, um, your totem animal, your birth totem animal is the zodiac sign you were born under Western Chinese, Native American, Celtic, that's your birth totem, but you can identify throughout your lifetime with lots of different animals or just one animal. My whole life, it's been bear. Um, you know, I always say that I call myself jokingly sometimes, or like when I get really riled up, my friends and family will go, uh Oh, <clears throat> pardon me. Here comes Bernadette. Um, but I, I resonate with bear more than any other animal always have, and probably always will. So if octopus is the animal that you resonate with most and you have adopted octopus or octopus has adopted you as a totem animal, well, to be your totem animal, although you, you there might come a day that you would be an octopus's totem animal. Ooh, that's a great subject for another video. But you are a person that is just as graceful in situations, as flexible. Again, you would make a tremendous mediator, a tremendous guide, a tremendous diplomat somebody that's always bridging two worlds, two opposite factions, two opposite things. You just find a way to be like, oh, I got this, I'm doing this. And the next thing everybody knows, wow, it's like, how did that even happen? Because of you. Good for you and thank you to you. All right. So Let's say that you've got some things going on in your life today that are just, you, 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 you know that what you're seeing is not real. Like what you're seeing here is not real because you know it here and you know it here. You know it's not real. There's an illusion there going on. Or <clears throat> maybe the opposite is true and you need to camouflage yourself for whatever reason. Octopus is a great animal ally for this. As a power animal, octopus can help you when you need to dispel illusions. Um, maybe there's some kind of, you know, information going on about you around your family or your community or your, you know, work environment that's not true and you need to set that stuff straight. Octopus, that's the way you do that. You reach inside of yourself, you invoke octopus energy. And they are amazing at hiding behind, you know, their big clouds of ink or when they burrow down in the sand and you're like, I thought I saw an octopus. I'm pretty. And then they're like, poof, they're gone. Um, you may need to do that. You may need to come out from under that sand. You may need to, you know, uh, wash away the ink that someone has, you know, stained you with and you need to dispel those illusions. Uh, I guess you could call them the L word. They could be lies that you, you know, need to dispel about yourself. Certainly you don't need help telling lies. So don't call on octopus. If you want to tell a lie, don't do that. None of the animals want to help you lie. Okay. Um, but when it comes to octopus as a power animal, when you need to move quickly, when you need to move fluidly, um, when you need to really like just push away from things that are threatening you or that you just don't quite understand, octopus is the one you're, you're connected to octopus and octopus is connected to you. There are a jillion animals in this world and you're part of them and they're part of you. There isn't one animal, insect, fish, crustacean, bird, invertebrate, name it. There isn't anything that you can't invoke from inside of yourself. So that is a little bit of a downer to end a video on, except for, aha, here's the big reveal. As long as you do everything using octopus and the idea of infinity and the idea of infinite love to accomplish everything, see through those illusions, yes, but understand they're momentary create an illusion, understand it's momentary. It's not going to last forever. Do it in love. Let's say that you've got, you know, stuff being illusions being spread about you. Okay. It's the same reason that in wartime, 
that countries try to keep up negotiations because even when the war is over, no matter who's won, you're still going to have to do business with those countries. <clears throat> when I learned that, it was one of the most shocking times of my life. I was like, wait a minute, when war is over, they're dead to me. They're, that's it. Really, Bernadette? And what, what nation has ever done that? What nation doesn't do some kind of trade with another nation? Yes, they get through the skirmish. Yes, they keep the lines of communication open. And yes, the mediators come in, the diplomats come in. And at the end of it all, when it's over, no matter what's gone on, you still see those people, you still have to do business with them. And that, my friends, is the secret of octopus as a power animal. So I hope this is helpful you to, to you today. Um, call on your spirit totem and power animals anytime you need them. But really the most important thing is what? To stay wild. Mm -hmm.